welcome back my peeps so i got another tutorial for you guys we gonna make a uh, a chocolate apple or uh, like uh, a candy apple but it's gonna be a cauldron it's gonna be a cauldron candy apple i did not make one in advance so we're gonna make this together and you get to see all my errors and if it goes well, if it goes bad, I don't care. I'm going to post it because it is what it is and that's life, right? So here we go. So you are going to need an apple. Apples, okay. Anyway, you're going to get you an apple. I already, you can see the red on the inside. I already painted it black because if I try to paint it now, you guys already seen what happened in the last video with the ghost. It will be a disaster. So we not doing that. So I already painted it. So you're going to paint your apple black. Okay. I just put this stick in here just to hold it while I painted it. Then you're going to get you. You can use this same stick as a matter of fact. You're going to use this same stick. I'm going to put it in here hate this dog. I don't even know why I keep using this glue. I just want to get rid of it. That's why I keep using it. But I hate it. It's the worst. And then I got a straw. Oh, I, I, I'm ahead of myself. But that's okay. And you're going to take your straw. And you're going to put it in there. You can get these straws. Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, everywhere. So I don't really like my straw to be like real long. I don't know why, but I just, I don't like it. So I'm just going to cut some of it off. Save this piece for, make a little shake or something. Then I'm going to take some more glue and put around there and i'm gonna stick the ugly side down into there okay and that way you have your little stick let's move this out the way so you have to see what's going on over there i got some sprinkles over there that's nice so right there you go there go your apple now let me turn this this way before i burn myself because y'all know i'm a hazard to myself so you're gonna get you some black clay where is my black clay oh and oh it's right here of course behind everything because we're gonna make the little rim to go around the apple for the cauldron so just get your little piece of And after I do this part, I'm a, I am have another apple prepared over here, and I'm going to switch to that apple. I still have to stick a uh, straw and all that good stuff in that one, but I just want to show you this part, which I think I just got too much clay. We don't need all of that clay. And then once you put this part over it, you're going to paint your apple again. Because for some reason, this clay is like, isn't dull it's like a little it has like a little dullness to it and i don't like it so i went and painted over it after i put it on my apple okay so you take your apple and you're just gonna make a rim around the apple i don't think i rolled it long enough let's fix that did not roll it long enough all right, but I think I did now. Now make sure you get your good side. And just put it on there. Let the little ends touch. And then you're going to pinch it. And if you have to put glue, which you probably will, because the, um, the rim of, I mean, the... Clay doesn't want to stick to the paint, which is fine. Just make sure you get your circle 
I'm gonna just put the clay, the glue. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I'm gonna put the glue right on the clay, just a touch. Okay, you don't need a lot. Let me show you how much I put on there. Look, it's not a lot at all. Okay, don't drown it, and then you're gonna have a lot of leftover uh clay. I mean glue on your apple. You don't want that, okay? So then you're gonna take it and make sure you fix it nice. Press it down. Make sure that glue gets on there good. Pick it up, look it, make sure you don't have any um you can't see through it or anything. Cause sometimes and then you good to go. Now you got your rim. Now you're gonna let this dry. You gotta let it dry 100 percent If you wanna put um handles on it, you can. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just I'm keeping it basic. But you fancy it up the way you want. Now you let this dry 100 percent Don't paint it yet. Let it dry. Then when it's dry, you're gonna go and paint it again. Then after that dries, then you're ready to decorate, okay? So I have one here. Like I said, this one is already, I already painted it. This is a different size apple. As you can see, this one is like, this one is a bit more round. And then this one, I don't know, is a bit taller. These were given to me in um, Happy Mail. And <clears throat> I don't care what size they are, whatever, whatever. I'm just happy to have them. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get me a skewer, and I'm gonna put the straw in this one too. And then we're gonna do. We gonna move on to the next step. So you always want to put a skewer in your. With your straw, cause these things are so flimsy. These um, these straws are very flimsy and they bend, and we don't want our creation to, you know. I didn't bring my my little cutter with me, so I'm doing it. I'm being gangster right now, cutting it with my hand, and that's not good, cause then it gets splinters, but. It is what it is. So you're going to take your skewer and you're going to put it in your apple. Then you're going to put your straw in there. Okay. This just gives your straw stability. And you want that. Because you don't want to make something all nice and pretty and then try to pick it up and the straw bends. Trust me, it's happened to me plenty of times. Then you're going to take your straw and you're just going to Stick it in there, but again, I'm gonna cut some of it off because I don't. Oh, some of the body I don't like when it's too long. I just cut a piece off. Hope I can cut it too long, too short. All right, good, good, because you know I'm good for making errors and mistakes. It's a wonderful thing. Wait, let's put the ugly side going down. All right, there you go. Right? So to decorate the, you know, we're going to make it with the green, yucky looking stuff coming out of it and all that good stuff. And I made some, you can use slick paint if you want. You can use spackle if you want. Totally up to you. Whatever you decide you want to use. I'm using a mixture of, you know, my caulk, my paint, and my Mod Podge. And this color is, uh, uh, what's it called? Lime Tree. Apple Barrel Lime Tree. That's the color that I'm using right here. Do I need this glue gun? Because it's really, excuse me, getting on my nerves. How about if I put it over here and let it get on my nerves over there? <laughs> yes, because I don't 
I don't want to look at it. It makes me mad. It's the glue sticks. Those glue sticks are terrible. So, anyways. Let's put this over here. We do not need that right now. So, I got me a little baggie over here. Let me get my little tray because I don't want to mess with my silicone mat. I don't want to mess it up. Got my little stir stick there. That I, that's what I use to make the concoction. Again, lime tree, apple barrel lime tree paint, cork, my Podge. I do not have a specific recipe for this. You just make it. If it's too thick, you add more my Podge. If it's too thin, you add more cork. That's it. And look what I got here, y'all. We have not messed with these in a while. Right? Foam beads. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I do not miss those foam beads at all. So, but before I do that, we're going to make some flame. Matter of fact, because if, once I put this on, I don't want to move it around too much, okay? So, let's make some flames to go underneath our cauldron. Yes. We need flame. So, what I did is I took some red, yellow, and orange clay, and I kind of just mixed it up together, right? Don't want to mix it up too much, and it turns into a big old blob, and those are going to be my flames, you can see I got a big old blob of orange over there. Let's see if we turn it. Oh. Uh. See, we don't need that much, but we gonna. Oh, boy. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna come over here and. Uh, so, you can use. If you have a leaf cutter, you can use that. I don't have a leaf. I do. I'm sure I do have one somewhere, but. I'm going to need to use these Kemper cutters that I have. They got a, like a, I don't know what's this shape called. Like a, It's like a teardrop, but it's actually bent at the top. I don't know what, I don't really know what the name of this shape is called. But that's what I'm going to use. I think. Let's see if it's big enough. It might be too big. I don't want it to be too big. Hold on, I got the glue. Glue web. Like, I don't want them to be too big. I think that's that's a good size for my fire. Or should I make it smaller? Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, this is the smaller size one. But you can use a leaf mold. Even if you have a silicone leaf mold, you can use that. You can use a circle and then just... But I can't get this up. Like, man, this is a. I don't know if this is the size I want. Because I don't want it to be too big. You know what I mean? I think this is the size. Let me see. I mean, it could be both sides, right? I don't know if I like that. But. We're going to go with it. We're going to go. With, I'm going to go with the big one. And that's how we're gonna make our uh, our fire. We just gonna go. Thing about clay that I like, you can bring it down. You can mold it. You can do all kind of like, you know. What do you think? That looks like. I don't know. We just gonna go for it. If you don't want to put fire on yours, don't. Okay. That's just me with my ideas, but you might not like the fire. You might just want your cauldron to be a cauldron without the flames. But we shall see. Let's just keep it going. Let's just keep it going. I'm going to use this one. I'm not going to let it go to waste. Right? 
And then I'm going to cut one from here. I'm going to make the flame go the other way. You try to bring it down to cover your apple down here if you want. Or you can just put a whole piece. Or you can not because you want your apple to be stable. Oh, what is going on here? Don't want to stick. So you're just going to keep on putting your little fire. This really does not want to stick here. Like, what in the world? That's because I try to flip it around and the other side ain't as sticky as the front side. But guess what? We got glue. So. I'm just going to leave it alone. Let it all go the same way. It don't matter. What y'all think? Let's do it. Let's look like this. Like a fire. Like I said, if you don't want no fire, don't put the fire. Maybe the next one I will do it without the fire. But, you know. It is a cauldron. Cooking something. I don't know what. I think this is it. Yep, that is it. So let me make sure I got everything down here down. Make sure it's not going to come up. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. All right. So we can put this away. And put the cutters away. We won't be needing those. Now we get to do the fun part. Which is put this slime on it. So I'm gonna come back over here. So we can um or uh, maybe I, I don't know. Let's see if I switch it to the top in a minute. So, we going to do some things here. Let's see what we do. Now, you know these foam beads is going to get on my nerves. So, I'm about to just take my handy dandy little vacuum and put it right there. Because uh, some of these things are sticking up. Got to make sure they do not stick up all right so i'm gonna put my mixture oh knock the apple down i'm going to put my mixture in here i don't know i'm not gonna put the whole thing uh, i'm gonna put a lot maybe i should i can always pour it back in here if it's too much yeah let's do that because i'm I don't want to re like reopen the bag and fill it and all that good stuff. So, hope this is enough. I mean, it should be. Now, this is very runny, so you got to be careful when you make your hole that you make a small, tiny hole. Don't get, don't make a big, giant hole because you'll be upset. You won't be able to control it. Cut this end off. So. Now this, you're going to want to cut this tip. See how little this tip is? You're going to want to get like that much cut off of it. Trust me when I tell you. Because this is very runny. So you just want to cut... Just nip it. Just, I mean, you can't even see the hole I cut. And that's what you want. 
So I'm going to start with the top because I want to make sure that I have enough to go in here. Okay. So I just want to make sure I have enough to fill the cauldron. Now, you don't have to, oop, I got to drop a bit, which is fine because this is going to spill over anyways. Now, you can get your tool and spread it around. Bring it to the edge. You can use a toothpick if you want. Whatever you have. If you are interested in one of these needle scribes, I have them in my Etsy shop. Okay, so I just want to make sure I have enough in my cauldron, which I do. So now, oh God, now I'm going to try to put, oh, Lord, I hate messing with these things because they just get everywhere. They don't know how to add. All right, let's see if I can grab some and just throw them on there. I don't want to. Like, fill the whole thing up with um foam beads. I just want some here and there. Because I'm going to put some sprinkles in there, too. Like, some eye sprinkles and some bones. And I don't... I mean, we could always add more later. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to keep control of these darn things all right let me close this bag up before they try to get out and then i have some sprinkles over here i have a couple of spiders but first i want to throw some sprinkles in there i got a couple of rest in peace signs and i got a couple of bones i got these sprinkles from play code three i made <clears throat> I kind of made the mix myself. Oh, hey, I can't, can't bend up my little pie pan because I'm going to make a pie with this. You see my mixture? It has eyeballs, candies, little wrist and peace sign. It has tiny ghosts in there. I don't really know what else is in there. But I put diamond dots in here. You know those diamond dots, those, the art. Things that people do. Well, I got some of that. So I'm just throw some of this in there. <sighs> All right, let me get this because. <laughs> I want to make sure my eyes show because you got to have eyes in there. So I forgot her name, but she's on, um, she's on Instagram. Dang, I forgot her name. I feel bad, but I will, uh, post her link to her Instagram, but the name of her Instagram is <clears throat> crafting on coffee. And she made these cauldron cupcakes. And she used some beads on it to make it look like bubbles. I'm going to put a couple of those on here. But I'm going to post a link so you guys can go see her cupcakes. Because they're so cute. And y'all can make some cupcakes. Her design is very easy and cute. So, these, these, are, the beads. these are the beads that she got. I'm going to put like one here and one there. These have holes in them, so try to hide the hole. I'm just going to put like three. I want to make sure it touches the... um the um the cork mixture okay wait because i don't want to cover up my eyes i don't want to cover up my eyes 
So I'll make a look so cute with these bubbles. You'll see it in a minute. So now I'm gonna make some drip coming that whoop coming down. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see how cute those little bubbles look in there? What? I wish they had them in smaller size, but that was all I can find. So anyways, we are going to make our drip. Let's come. Let me take some of this stuff out of here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me close this so I don't want it to spill. Maybe I could come over here now. I'm going to make some drips on here. Now make sure you get your front. I'm going to start in the back so I can see how my drips are going to come. Maybe I should come over here. So here we go. You ready? Now remember, this stuff is very runny. I mean, I don't really want drip all on it. I'm going to just make it drip in some spots and not drip in others. Put a little dot. However... Then I'm going to come back and throw a couple of beads on there and fix it up a little bit. Like, I don't know if I want it to like drip all. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be too like. All right. I think that's good for my drip. Let me come over here and show y'all. See my drip? Then I'm going to come and put some. So, first of all, I'm going to um, try to blend this. So, it be, like, looks like it's all one. And I'm going to throw some more um, sprinkles on top of that. cover it up you know make it look like it's just one glob or one yeah I like that better let's throw a little bit in that corner right there some over here matter of fact let's put some coming on the outside because you know what it's bubbling over, right? But I do want to put some foam dots too. All right. Now I got to pick up all these sprinkles. Because I did not use my little tray like I usually do. But, you yeah, know, I will do that later. See, I use the little diamond dots. That diamond art, that's what I'm talking about. You know that diamond art? Those little dots that they put in those diamond arts are so sparkly and pretty. All the colors, they sparkle. So if you see that, if you ever see them on sale, on clearance, y'all better get y'all some. All right, I'm going to put some of these foam beads. Hold on. I do want some of the foam beads on the drip. Come on, y'all. Stop acting crazy. So, I'm going to get the foam drip. Now, this is going to be the fun part. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get me some and put in a little bit in a container. Because these things act crazy. I don't have time for it. All right. Close my bag up because it's not. So then I'm going to take some of these and put it on. Look, see they already acting crazy? <sighs> Come here. Bro. Just put them around. Like, I didn't really want it to like have too many. <laughs> Ooh, these damn foam beads, bro. Put some here and some there. I 
What you think? You like it? I'm gonna put some diamond dust on it too. And I think we good. Cause I don't wanna put too many foam beads everywhere. I just, just don't wanna put them everywhere. I mean, if you want to do it all with foam beads, listen, I always say you do it how you want it. Doesn't have to be my style. Everybody has their own style. Everybody has their own ideas. So, I'm going to put some diamond dust. I don't even know if it's going to. I'll just pick it up off of my, um, what do you call this, Teflon sheet. And it'll be good to go, good to go, yes. All right, we good, we good, people. We are good. So, here goes your cauldron. Oop. I'm too high. <laughs> Sorry. Here goes your cauldron. Um, apple. If you want to make one, like I said, this is just an idea. Please do it. make it your own. Make it better. Make it cuter, fancier, whatever you want. If you want it with the flame, you make it with the flame. If you don't like it with the flame, make it without the flame. It's fine with me. However you decide you want to make it. It's totally up to you. It's your design. It's going to be displayed in your house. Or, you know, whatever you want to display it. So you make it how you want it. But, here you go. One more time. I think it came out cute. It got, you see the, I don't know if you can see the little beads in there. But it looks like bubbles. It's bubbling. Like I said, I forgot her name and I feel terrible. Um, but I said I'm gonna link her Instagram crafting on coffee so you can see her cupcakes, her cauldron cupcakes. They came out so cute. So, guys, here's another one for you guys. If you want to make it, please. If you do make it, tag me on Facebook. I would love to see your creations. Oh, I was gonna stick a spider on here. Where would I put a spike? Uh-oh. This, um, diamond dust. Where would I put a spider? And I was leaning because the... I don't want... Can't make it black. How about a purple one? Where would I put it? Like there? <sighs> <clears throat> this hot mess of a glue gun, bro. <sighs> you see all this damn glue on my heart. Yeah, I'm gonna stick it right there. Hold on, I gotta fix it a little bit. And look, now there's a spider on your cauldron. I got the spiders from Walmart. It's the ring spiders. All I did was cut the ring part off. And, uh, that's what now, I, I lied. I got these from Michaels. It comes in like green, orange, black, and a uh, turquoise like blue color. But yeah. So guys, here goes you see here I go touching the paint again. OMG girl, let me let y'all go before I mess this thing up too. I'll talk to y'all later. God bless you guys. Bye.